Season 1 Reloaded for Modern Warfare Zombies had a pretty big update today. It was a little over 17 gigabytes, and this is for PlayStation 5. Other platforms might be a little bit different. They definitely made some significant changes in zombies. They did patch some useful glitches, and I'm going to make an entirely new video about all the stuff they patched, because that's just way too much to put into this video. This is going to be all about Tombstone and how they changed it and how you have to do it now. It's not a huge change to Tombstone, and yes, this still works. You can still keep all of your stuff, keep your money, and leave the game, come back, and the Tombstone is still there, allowing you to duplicate money and items all that you want. But if you don't know this one change that they made, it's not going to work for you. I went in with Tag 935 and BBK, and we went and tested a bunch of glitches, and Tombstone was definitely the first one we checked. If you already have a Tombstone set up in the game with all of your items and money, then you're fine. You don't have to worry about this, but if you are setting up a new one, there's something you need to know. In this footage here, I went in just trying to do it normal like we normally do. I got all my items, I got my money, and then I got downed obviously with Tombstone, and then I let myself bleed out completely. Again, I'm in a team with other people and one player X filled. There was one player left and I was spectating them and they were gonna stay in the game. So we were like, okay, well, I'll just leave so I can set up my Tombstone. So normally I can just, yeah, leave match and not drag anybody out with me. And that usually works, but when I went back in, there was no Tombstone. And Tombstone can definitely be tricky and glitchy and not even work in the way that it's intended to. And I was talking to Tag and BBK and I was like, yeah, my Tombstone's not here. Is it, you know, okay to just leave a match when you're downed? And they're like, yeah, normally you're just downed and you can leave. It doesn't matter how many people are still remaining in your team in the game. Well, it looks like they definitely changed it where it does matter now, but there's a way to easily fix it. So right here, I am back Back in the game, setting up again. I'm getting all of the items I want in my tombstone, getting the money, and then obviously getting tombstone, and I'm gonna get downed. But before I get downed, I wanna do one thing. It seems like now they will not allow you to keep your tombstone if there are other options for you to be revived. If you leave a match and you still have players in the game that could have revived you, they're like, no, you had a chance and you're not getting your tombstone. Now, I'm not talking about other players like in the game. I'm talking about people on your team. If the game thinks, well, there are team players that could have revived you, well, you know, they didn't, too bad. You don't get a tombstone. So what you wanna do if you are with other players, yeah, get your gear, get what you want in your tombstone, drink tombstone, make sure you do that. I've Definitely forgotten sometimes. Then use the option to leave your team. For PlayStation, you hold down on the D-pad and then use the thumbstick to toggle to the bottom selection, leave squad, and it will say you have left your squad mates. You should be completely alone with no team. You'll see on the bottom left there. And now it's okay for you to get downed. And also, just in case, I would make sure to not even have a self-revive accessible to you. Like you can have a self-revive and get downed and let that self-revive option completely time out. And the game might think, you know, you had an option to get revived and you didn't take it. So we're not giving you a tombstone. It seems like this is really geared to only give you a tombstone if there was just absolutely no other options to be revived. What you need to do is just let this thing completely time out. You want to see the red screen that says squad eliminated, then you know it's going to work. And at this point, I would still don't touch your controller. Just let this thing completely time you out of the game and go back to the menus. If you are with a team that has already exfilled, then you're pretty safe to do this. But if they're still in the game doing stuff, then you need to leave the squad. Right here, I am still waiting for this thing to completely time out. Now, it's giving me the option to leave match, but just don't touch that. And it should just take you completely out and put you back to the main menu. This time this worked. I went back in and yes, Tombstone was there. So it's really important to have that red screen that says squad eliminated. There might be other screens that people see at the end if they do have people in their team with them and they all leave and then you just wait it out. So if you don't get the squad eliminated and it does work, like that's 
fine. It could be okay. But this is 100% a good way to do it. If you're with people and you want to set it up, just get out of that party, get out of that team, and just do it by yourself. Get that red screen, and it should work every time. And now, if you want to leave and keep your tombstone on the map, you just do the same method. You can do a regular exfil and make sure you disconnect at the right time, or use the story exfil. That's the one I like to use. They all still work the same as far as disconnecting and dashboarding, and the story exfils allow you to keep your unexfillables, meaning you can keep your ether blades in your lethal spot. I'll make a full video showing you guys all the things that still work, including that there are some things that are gone, but we do have workarounds. But yeah, Tombstone seems to be only available to you if there was no other way for you to get revived. And also, maybe don't even plea. Like, don't hit the plea button. That can interfere with it. Like, give yourself no options. And let me know if you guys have different experiences with this. Comment down below. I hope this helped you guys out, and we'll see you next video.